The man who had wrecked Lebanon is now dead. Yeah. Free Palestine as soon as they made peace with Israel. As soon as they made peace with Israel. I will quote you from the Quran, which is a very good book. You should follow it, your Muslim. In the Quran it says, if your enemy needs to have peace, you also need to have peace and rely on Allah. Great, I think you can rely on Allah, but Shia Muslims don't think so. See this, I'm sure he's a Muslim, he's not asking questions, no, he's just talking when I'm talking. That's why much of the third world, the Muslim world is third world. Do you know, in the Quran it says, deal with your issues through mutual consultation. Don't let any Muslim who debates with me, even if they agree disagree with me. But some will just try to shout me down. They think I've got a sore throat and I'll have to stop talking. By the way, why is the Muslim world so much of it? Crap third world. Just look at Afghanistan. In Afghanistan, women over the age of 12, females are not allowed to education. They're not allowed to sing. Their faces have to be covered. Who thought that any religion could sink as low as the Taliban in Afghanistan? And there's Boko Haram in Nigeria. They kidnap schoolgirls and give them as wives to their fellow jihadi fighters. And then you've got Yemen under the Houthis. Yemen was a, is a majority Sunni country, but Iran gave weapons to the Houthis, the Shia Houthis, and told them to overthrow the Sunni government. They wrecked the country. Over 150,000 dead. There's third world Islam for you. On the other hand, Bahrain, United you Arab Emirates, they are some great Muslim countries. They are not going against their Quran the way groups like Al Qaeda, ISIS, Taliban, Al Shabaab, Boko Haram are going against the Quran. They're still shouting me down. Still shouting me down. Yeah, yeah. Who supports them? Do you know in the Quran it says? You give them money. If you fight with justice, I will fight with you and inflict a defeat on your enemies. So in 1948, when five Arab Muslim countries, full of people like him, invading Israel, who side was Allah on? Because Israel won easily. In 1967, six Arab Muslim countries attacked Israel. Don't forget the Quran says, if you fight with justice, I will fight with you and inflict a defeat on your enemy. So when those six Arab Muslim countries attacked Israel, who won? Israel! No. In 1973, the two largest, strongest, our Muslim countries, Syria and Egypt, attacked Israel. Whose side was Allah on? No. Israel still there, Israel won. And you know, in the, look at these people, like third world Muslims. In the Quran, it says, do not start a war in the month of Ramadan. So we did Egypt and Syria attack Israel during the month of Ramadan. Against the Quran. No, no, yeah. no. So if you want the war, the Arab Do you know? In the Quran, that very good book, the Quran, it says, if Allah.
Allah yeah. wants to bless someone, nothing can stop yeah. it. Yeah. I'll say that again. Yeah. In the Quran, yeah. 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 Allah yeah. God wants yeah. to yeah. bless someone, yeah. Yeah. nothing yeah. can yeah. stop it. Yeah. So why is Israel yeah. blessed yeah. beyond belief? Yeah. And yeah. the church is known yeah. Israel yeah. to keep attacking it. A junk third world countries. No, no. Why is that? Why is that? No one ever answers, do you? Can no. I? You Can just I start shouting. Yeah. I'll go back. Last night, 16 children. Yeah. 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 Do you know what Muhammad says? Yeah. Yeah. Muhammad says yeah. 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 in the Hadith. In a war, do not fight women, children, yeah. or old men. Yeah. Yeah. Who were most of the targets yeah. on October the 7th when Hamas went yeah. into Israel? Before October 7th. Women, babies even, old men killed, taken hostage against the Quran. No, because you people. In the Quran it says. If you go against the Quran, you have a life of hardship. And all those third world Muslim countries who keep attacking Israel are having a life of hardship. Why don't you talk about the Jewish Haganah and Erdogan? I made some very good points about the Quran. None of them have answered those points. They are. Third world people! In the Quran, it says, follow this Quran and the scriptures that went before it. And in the scriptures that went before it, God says, the Jews will be spread around the world, but we then go back to the land of their forefathers. I am Jewish. And they have done. And one of the Muslims then, they are trying to kill Israelis. They are trying to kick them out. They are going against God's prophecies. Who will win? God or Hamas, Hezbollah? Iran, who's going to win? I put my money on God. God always gets his prophecies right. When God says the children of Israel would return to the land of their forefathers, and it has happened, and yet the crap third world Muslim countries they can go against their Quran. And when I point it out to them, in one ear, out the other ear, they never answer. In the Quran, it's, in the Bible, it says, if you live by the sword, you die by the sword. And every country that attacks Israel, they come up far worse. Every time. And you can ignore the Quran if you like. But God can see you. God knows what you're doing. God knows you're going against your Quran. The best you can do is get out of your I can't believe in London, or America, or Australia, or Sweden. Why does God not bless your country? Why does not God bless your country? You want to get out of the Muslim world to go and live in the West, to the non-Muslim world. Why are you are here? Why are you are here? These people pretend they're so stupid they don't know the difference between deliberately killing children and accidentally killing children. Hamas and his Hezbollah hide in civilian areas, knowing full well that civilians will die. That is disgusting. I think so. God 
Allah also thinks so. You put your fighters and your ammunition where there are civilians. Yeah. And look at you, you third world countries. In the Quran it says, if Allah wants to bless someone, nothing can stop it. So why does Allah not bless Hezbollah, Iran, Iraq, Syria, Yemen, etc, etc. Et Why is that? Do you know when, when, oh, hang on. Oh, no one's Listen, answering. Do you know when Nothing Allah hates someone, God that. hates someone, he lets them do evil. He lets them do evil, then he punishes them. So what God is doing, he's letting the Zionists, the Net Netanyahu and all those devils do evil. Israel is but defending there is yourself. Be accountability. If you read the Jewish scriptures, and in the Quran it says, read the Quran and the scriptures that went before it, it says God will save Zion. That's what it says, God will save Zion. If you're anti-Zionist, do you know who used the word Zion first? God uses the word Zion 129 times in the Jewish Torah and twice in the Gospel, Christian Gospels. If you're anti-Zionist, you're anti-God. Don't blame me. God thought up the word Zion. God said the Jews would return to Zion. It's happened. Israelites will return to take down Islam. Islam.